Coach Richie Nuttall, a, a tough 2 nothing loss to JMU in the quarterfinals of the CAA Championship tonight. Your assessment of today's game? Yeah, very disappointing. I felt we lost it in the first half. We didn't show enough passion and enthusiasm and uh, endeavour and energy. And I just thought we were very flat. Um, whether we thought we were going to win the game without really showing up, I don't know. We're just incredibly disappointed. And then uh, we've been pressing in the second half and we're giving away the second. And it was... Uh, against us but I've got to give GMU a lot of credit they came out with energy they played well I think they uh, I think they stifled us in midfield they stepped round well and they, uh, they did a real good job of intercepting passes when we were trying to play to feet and the man Mark Joe which was uh, the guy who did a, a wonderful job on Joe Holland and just generally I think they, they were uh, in the ascendancy the first half we changed it a little bit in the second half and it helped us somewhat get the uh, Momentum going, but just not good enough, unfortunately. Was that something that you tried to tell your team coming into the match to you have to show up, have the energy, don't take it for yeah. granted, and just play the game? Absolutely, you know, and, and you drill it into these guys, and we spoke about it on numerous occasions, but just from a point of view, we were flat. Maybe it's the seven days we've had often, and uh, you know, I think we missed Danny Grundy, the captain, a little bit. I think he brings us energy and drive and focus, and uh, we did miss him a little bit, not to take anything away from Marius, but to be honest, uh, just we just didn't have that there, that power. And just. Uh, the back line, I feel like you, a few times that they got burned and there were a few lapses. Just what was James Madison able to do to create so many opportunities, yeah. especially in that first half? Yeah, we said they're very athletic, you know, and I think because we weren't stepping around, we weren't nipping the, the, the uh, situation in the bud, then they got, uh, you know, a lot of long diagonal balls in behind us, and uh, I felt their pace was, uh, it was difficult to cope with, especially down our right, their left. I thought they did very well. Uh, I thought Nino did a better job at it second half and moved John Fraser a little bit forward. But just our left, uh, our right there left was a bit of an Achilles heel tonight. Mighty Memich just one shot in his final match in a half to Pride uniform. So what did you see out there from him, not just in this match, but just talk about him as a player and just how it's going to impact this program moving forward? Yeah, we're going to miss a, a true gentleman who's a great goal scorer. who has got hopefully a, you know, a, I think he'll uh, back home in his own country. He'll have a chance to play uh, another level, maybe, hopefully professionally. But we're going to miss his goal scoring, his leadership, his captaincy, both on and off the field. Uh, a fine young man. And it seemed like in the first half, I believe, it was just two shots on goal in the first 45 minutes. Uh, you talked about it to us before the start of the match, just converting chances. Yeah. And it, it definitely got better at the start of the second half. And you said it, you changed things up, and the, yeah. the momentum started to go your way, but. Just what was the what was the problem in that first half? Just just didn't seem to get the chances that you needed. Again, if you were if you were um, a neutral guy coming just to watch a game, you'd you'd say we were lethargic and we weren't energetic. And again, soccer's all about energy and, uh, and verb and power and pizzazz, and we didn't have it. We were we weren't there. And uh, whether it was a mental or physical or not, I don't know. Just we didn't have it today. Coach, uh, how do you? take this loss and get it set for next season, you lose only my Mamet really, but there's still talent in midfield and the forwards defensively, what, what do you feel you have to get ready for next season? Yeah, hopefully, I mean, if you think about it, 23 players have got a, a, a lot of experience this year and uh, we lose my Eid, hoping to keep Elliot, you know, with uh, a bit of luck and uh, we'll have 23 players coming back who have a, a lot of experience, so you hope for better things, you hope that we can, you know, with one more point we would have won the conference and been out of buy. so we're there or thereabouts, we're proud of what we've done, sad with the result today, but we're, overall we're proud with the season because we've ba basically got a lot of freshmen and sophomores and, you know, four or five juniors, so I think we'll be even better next year.